everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been such a YouTube slacker lately. There are so many different things that I've wanted to film and I just have not been able to make the time. And I know that's not a good excuse, but a lot has been going on and I've just been trying to balance everything and some things get pushed to the side and I hate that. So anyway, a lot has happened in the past couple of weeks, one of which is that I cut my hair. I chopped it off, I had been debating it for months, probably almost a year, and I haven't actually cut my hair to probably almost three years. It's been almost three years since I, I like really cut it and this is probably the shortest I've been since like the fourth grade. But I'm really, really liking it. I'm having a lot of fun. Today I wanna show you how I have been styling it with a curling wand. I'm trying to experiment with different looks and styles and things that are quick and easy. One of the many benefits of having shorter hair is that it is just essentially quicker and easier to work with in general, so that's a plus, but I still want it to look cute and sexy and fun and mature and like, you know, a mix of all of that. So I've been trying to experiment with new styles and this one I'm gonna show you today has been my favorite. So last night I took a shower, I washed my hair and then I got out and blow dried it. So I actually really like doing this because one, it saves some time in the morning and two, I feel like my hair has a little more volume than normal when I do shower at night. I've been using the new John Frieda Clear Shampoo and Conditioner. I forget what it's called. But they sent it to me probably a month ago and I've just been using it. It's a really cool concept, like the conditioner is clear. It's like a gel, very weird, but I like it. I like the way that it works. I'm not positive it gives me a ton more volume, but I can't complain. So then when I get out of the shower, I just nothing lifts my hair like a mousse. I actually recently repurchased this Aussie Headstrong Volume Mousse. Um, this is a three maximum hold on the one to four scale. I just love how this works. Squeeze a little dollop in my hand and then I'll kind of work it through my ends, add a little bit to my roots. And then when I blow dry, I make sure to either like have my head like this so that it's blow drying up and then I do this side or I'll flip my whole head over. And I find that that gives me the very best volume. When I go to bed, I try to take the top section like this and clip it up like that. So I'll put a clip so that when I go to bed, this section is like lifting more. I do it neater than that, but and then I'll just tie the rest back when I get in bed. So that's kind of how I get this fuller looking hair, but obviously I don't wanna go out like this. So I'm gonna show you how I've been quickly styling it. So the first thing we're gonna do is apply a heat protectant. I actually just ran out of my like full size, so I had to tap into my travel stash. This is the Chi 44 Iron Guard. This has been one of my favorite heat protectors for a very long time. Love Chi, love their products. I like to be really generous with the heat protectant, especially now that my hair is shorter because I am probably using hot tools on it more than I do my long hair. So then we're gonna section the hair into two parts and then I'm gonna grab my wand. So this is my Conair wand. I'm not sure exactly how large it is. I don't know if this is an inch or like half an inch and then it kind of narrows into a smaller point. So it gives you those tighter curls, which to be honest, I don't use this as much as I used to. I would use this almost every day. Now I prefer my larger barrel, but this one does work for this style. I primarily use the top portion of the wand. So this has been heating up for a bit. We're gonna start by taking a small section of hair, and what we're gonna do is take the top part of the wand and wrap the hair once and then twice back up. So it's kind of like one and a half curls. And, and then sometimes I'll go back down. So it's about two wraps. I like to leave the ends out so that they are like flatter. And so then we just have this like one curl. And you can start a little lower if you want, but I find that this is a good spot for me. So I'm just gonna continue to do this all around my head. It's so weird having shorter hair. It's just different. I have to say I like it though. I really do, I'm really enjoying the change. I prefer the way that I look with longer hair. I don't know, I just think I look older. I was telling my sister the other day because she loves when I cut my hair. She's always telling me to chop it. But I was explaining to her how like it's cute. Like short hair is so cute. And I feel like when you cut your hair, everyone's just like, you look so cute. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's nice to look cute. But I feel like longer hair, you just look more like I don't know, mature, adult. There's more you can do with it, but whatever. I'm embracing it. Now, I don't realize how short my hair is until I try to like curl the back. She really chopped it. It's so hard to get back here and like work with it. This is probably just one curl back here. At least it's pretty quick. 
So last weekend I went to um, New York for the 2018 Beauty Summit that was put on by Create and Cultivate. I had seen that they were going to be hosting this event a couple of months ago and I jumped to get my ticket because I knew it would be a value for me to attend, especially as someone who is in this beauty world and pursuing this um, influencer, blogger, YouTuber life. When I had gotten my ticket, they didn't even have the lineup of speakers yet. They didn't know who was gonna be on the panel, who was gonna be keynoting. It was all kind of unconfirmed. The lineup ended up being pretty good. I was really happy with the speakers that they chose. I thought that they all brought a lot of great knowledge. They were all so talented in their own rights and just a really diverse group of people. The keynote speaker was Molly Sims, which was cool. I really like Molly. I actually met her at an event in February. So it was cool to see her again. Then there was a one-on-one -on -one conversation with makeup by Mario, which I think hands down was my favorite part of the whole event. It's just so crazy the power that the Kardashians have. You really see it. It's just crazy the opportunities these these people have had and what they did to get to where they are. Okay, so it's gonna look a little crazy, but don't worry, we're gonna go after and pull it out, spray it, and make it look a little more like full and, and normal, natural, wavy. And then I'm just gonna start taking other sections down. Not big sections, maybe just like three or four curls per. Um, so anyway, I really enjoyed the panelist discussions with, there were probably about 15 influencers on them total. And a lot of these women have gone on to start their own businesses. They're full-time bloggers, full-time YouTubers. And the craziest part is that I had never heard of any of them. Now, I love when that happens because it just goes to show you how vast this influencer world is and how much room there is for people to come up, be successful, and create their dream job. It's really amazing. A few of the names I'd heard before, like Color Me Courtney, but there were a lot that I had never met or seen, like Hey Gorgeous. I don't know, there were so many, but that's honestly my favorite part about those events, just seeing how many people really make it happen and you don't even know. like. That is so wild to me. So anyway, I definitely left that event feeling really inspired and motivated and just all kinds of things. It was a really good recharge, so. Plus, Create and Cultivate put on like the most amazing program. The entire day was flawlessly executed and I cannot say that for the majority of the events I've been to, especially in New York. It can really be hit or miss. Sometimes everything is just a hot mess, everyone's crazy, no one knows what's going on. It's crazy, but um, this particular event was so well done. So props to Create and Cultivate. Thank you for bringing in the speakers that you did and providing a really valuable day for a lot of people. It was cool. I honestly thought there would be more influencers there and I think there were probably more hairstylists, entrepreneurs, and uh, makeup artists than there were influencers because I didn't meet many. It was interesting. It was really cool. Oh, but why I started this whole conversation is because while I was there, um, Jen Atkins' company, Main Addicts, which is just, I, I believe, just a resource for hairstylists, she had a bunch of people from her team there doing hair makeovers. Um, and I'm always so hesitant to get that done at events. You, normally you go to events with your hair and makeup done, so you don't really want them to take it all off and redo it because god forbid you don't like it and then you're like stuck with this style all day but i was kind of in a rush that morning when i left so i had only just straightened my hair really quickly and i was like you know what my hair is short let's see what they can do with it maybe i'll learn a couple tricks and find a new style that i really like it was funny because i was in line and there were three stylists working on three different girls and the guy at the end opened up and i was like oh i really like what he was doing I, it looks like i'm gonna go you know, be his next client. Then he went and got like a coffee or something. So one of the other women who was working on another girl opened up and I ended up going to her. But I had seen what she had just done to the girl before me and I didn't really like it. She used the straightener to like curl up, curl down and give this girl these waves. But her hair was really, really long and I don't know, I just, I really wanted something done with a curling iron. So I was kind of like, uh-oh. I sat at her chair and I told her what I wanted and I just cut my hair and I was looking for something easy to do and fun. And she was like, I know what I'm gonna do on you. We're gonna use the straightener. And I was like, oh no, I should just use the straightener on that other girl and I didn't like it. But I was like, I trusted her. I was like, okay, go for it, whatever. And I ended up absolutely loving it. Like she 
killed it. I put a boomerang in my Insta story. I don't know if you saw it or not. I'll see if I can insert it here. And she just did such a good job. It looked awesome. I don't know if I can do it to myself. The way that she created the look was super simple. Like I know I could do it. I just don't know if I could do it on my own head. So I want to practice that a little bit. And if I can nail it, I want to bring it to my channel to show you because I was so impressed. All right, we're almost there. I have a cannoli in the refrigerator and it's all I can think about right now. I ordered a pizza last night and I got a cannoli to go. And I was like, I totally forgot to eat it. See, these front parts are the hardest. I'll probably tweak those at the end. I hate when you notice something on your face and you're like, has that been on my face the whole time I've been filming? What do you think? This is very like Shirley Temple gone rock star. So what we're gonna do is take our hands and just pull at these curls and kind of loosen them up a little. So this is looking a little crazy. What I'm gonna do is spray my whole head with this Cuvée Beauty Champagne Spray. I actually got this at Create and Cultivate, and it's a styling spray that creates definition for a lived-in, tousled look, composes elegant movement and effortless waves for a PC modern silhouette. Our unique lightweight formula was developed for second day hair every day. As I just said second day hair, I forgot that I brought down this dry shampoo that I was gonna use before. Whatever, I guess it worked anyway. So I'm just gonna take this and spray it all over my curls. It's gonna help like calm them down a little. I really like how this stuff smells. So now if I feel like certain areas look flat like this, I'll go back with my iron and just like lift it up. I'll do one curl like this just to give it a little more. And let's do one more here. Short hair can be tricky, guys. All right, so this is the final look. This turned out a little more full than I had anticipated. I'm gonna have to come back and do like a more loose <laughs> peachy look another time, but now we're just gonna go spray it. So I'm gonna use Pantene Pro V, Stylers. I like this, it's an anti-humidity maximum hold hairspray and it works so, so well. So just spray that all over. And we are good to go, guys. I am feeling like, I feel like I could rock this. I feel really confident in this look and it's not something that I like normally wear, but it's just, it's different. So it's a little crazy, but it's fun. It's giving me like Cezanne vibes. It's giving me, I don't know how to say her name. Na Nazin, Nazine, Nazine Mandy. I don't know, Miguel's girlfriend who's like the most beautiful woman in the whole entire world. She rocks the short hair. It's always really full and sexy looking. And I don't know, that's kind of what I feel like with this. To be honest, I actually love the way that short hair fills out for me. You guys know I'm always talking about my fine, flat, thin hair. There's not a lot of it, but this, Cut will trick you. Like, you would never know that I have like the thinnest hair in the world. I just feel like short hair really, like I would never get this kind of volume and life with my longer hair. I just wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. I'm soaking it up, I'm enjoying the full like craziness. I love it. I really like it. I think it's a fun look. I think it is going to suit my mood today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to try out some other fun short hairstyles, leave me a comment below and let me know if there's any ones in particular that you wanna see. Or better yet, send me some inspo. If you've seen a hairstyle that you're like, that is an amazing short hair hairstyle, send it my way because I, I need some more ideas. I'm like, really trying to capitalize on this change and just have fun with it. You can DM me on Instagram or some, actually don't send me a Facebook message. That is the worst place to get in touch with me. I feel so bad. There's like dozens of unread messages on Facebook because one, I don't have the Facebook app on my phone. I just, I'm really weird about saving space on my phone and I feel like the Facebook app just isn't necessary. So I go to facebook.com if I want to use Facebook while I'm on my iPhone. So don't message me on Facebook. You'll never get a reply, but you can leave a comment here, obviously. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope to step up my YouTube game this summer. I really, really miss it. To be honest, I love creating video content, probably more than I enjoy blogging and Instagramming and all that. I just feel like 
The connection is so much more real. I love watching YouTube. I love creating. It's just fun. The whole process. I love video editing. I just, I love being here and it's been so long, but I wrote an update post on my blog. I don't know if it's going to go up before this video, after this video. I don't know, but just a little heads up about what has been going on in my life because it's been nutty and it explains my absence just a little bit. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me those comments and suggestions for other fun hairstyles below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. You guys are the best and I will see you next time.